What is up guys, Forecast Madan here, back at you with another Orezo U battle. This one's a lot shorter than the last one, but there are still some pretty cool plays that are made in this one, so I decided to upload it. Now, you already know my team, so I'm not going to explain everyone again, but my opponent has some threats. First of all, he has that Mega Sceptile, which is amazing, I love Mega Sceptile so much. Luckily though, Ferrothorn, Volcarona can both wall it while Kieran Black can easily outspeed it, even when he Mega Volts. His Town Flame is really his only big threat. But Tyranitar can take care of that as well, if he doesn't U-turn on the first turn. And those Stealth Rocks are going to be huge to do a lot of damage to that Talonflame and to break that Mammoth Swine's Focus Sash if it has it. The Bisharp, the Rotom Wash, and the Tentacool aren't really too big of a threat and I can really deal with them easily. So, it's enough talk, let's get into the battle. I'm going to leave it Tyranitar because I want those Stealth Rocks up. It does a lot of damage to his Talonflame and it will break his Mammoth Swine's Focus Sash if he has it. And luckily the Hyper Pump doesn't do too much damage which allows me to get up my Stealth Rocks. Now I'm going to switch into my Ferrothorn because Rotom Wash can't do much to Ferrothorn, and he ends up just full switching. He goes into his Town Flame, which takes a lot of damage thanks to the Stealth Rocks, which shows me he has a Citrus Berry. And because he's going to take a lot of damage if he tries to Flare Blitz me, if I stay in with Ferrothorn, I'm going to stay in with Ferrothorn and just go for the Gyro Ball. And now he actually will try to Flare Blitz me, which thanks to the Rocky Helmet, the, the uh, Recoil, and the Iron Barbs will actually kill himself as well. So if you ever wanted to know how to kill a Town Flame with a Ferrothorn, that's how you do it. Now Kyurem can't do much of this center pool, so I'm going to switch it to Latios, because Latios can hit it with Size Shock, which hits it on its really bad physical defense. And so he goes into his Rotom. I'm going to make the double into my Tyranitar, predicting him to double into his Bisharp, but instead he goes into his Tender Cruel. I don't really care, this thing can't really do much to Tyranitar, or it can only just wrap its spin. Which is fine, I'm just going to kill it with an Earthquake anyway. And now he's going to go into his Set Pile, and I'm going to try to survive whatever it can do and get up my Stealth Rocks again but Leaf Storm will just kill me outright, which is fine. This minus two Sceptile is the perfect opportunity for, for Volcarona to come in and start setting up with some Quiver Dances. And I'm going to do just that as he goes into his Rotom Wash. I'm not really scared of this Rotom Wash either, as I can get to plus two before he can even Hydro Pump me, which shouldn't do too much damage after the two Quiver Dances. And as you can see, it really doesn't. Volcarona just drinks it up after plus two. And I know he's going to try to want to Sucker Punch me with his Bisharp, so I'm just going to go for the Bug Buzz, as he does switch into his Bisharp and gets killed instantly. Now his only hope is to try to outspeed me with Sceptile. However, at plus two, Volcarona outspeeds Sceptile and kills it with the Bug Buzz. And he's going to go back into his Rotom Wash to try to survive, but nope, Bug Buzz as well will kill it. Luckily though, he was able to keep his Mammoth Swine's Focus Sash intact, so he can at least get one attack off with that. And Bug Buzz breaks his, gets him down to his Focus Sash, his Earthquake does a lot of damage to me, but doesn't quite kill me. And the Ice Shard does no damage at all whatsoever, so Bug Buzz will easily finish this game, and Volcarona nice and swept. So, that's the game guys, thanks for watching, do all the usual YouTube stuff, and uh, see you later.